Hi guys, welcome to The Photography Show 2021. My name's Rick Bradbury, I work as a portrait and commercial photographer based in Stockport, and today, alongside Pixapro or Essential Photo, we're going to be making a mess in my studio. Okay, what we're actually going to be doing is doing a water splash um, image with coloured water like we can see here. Now, what we'll do, we'll take a quick run around the setup, explain how I'm approaching this, how I'm achieving this, and then we'll do a live shot um, during the video. Um, I will need to make the studio dark, as in no lights whatsoever, to be able to do this, um, which I'll explain shortly. Right, let's take a look. Okay, guys, let's have a quick look at the setup. Um, so, um, let me explain this mess here. Uh, what we have is a camera on a tripod, that's my Canon 5 DSR, 24 to 105 lens. It's all set manual focus and image stabilizer off, which is generally recommended when working on a tripod. Um, so it's pre-focused, ready to go. Now, uh, settings wise, um, yours will vary depending on the lights that you're using, the environment that you're in, etc. But I'm running ISO 400 F10 at a four second exposure. Um, because I'm going to need to do a long exposure to give me some time to wrap this and slam it into the C-stand um, and uh, work in a dark uh, environment as well. So, the rest of the setup here, we have a couple of workhorses with some white acrylic sheets laid on top. And basically that just allows this top sheet here to slide along um, on top of the bottom one and then I can direct it towards that C-stand, impacting it and triggering the flash, there we go, by the sound trigger. Now the sound trigger, which is round the back out of the way so I don't kill it with water, um, was very kindly loaned to me by my friend Ian. That's why I've got it out of the way. I don't wanna, I don't wanna wreck it. It's 10 years old, but still works fine. Obviously commercial um, solutions today that are on the market are much smaller. They've got apps, Bluetooth, a bit more sophisticated, but this works really well. So thanks Ian for loaning me this. Um, the wine glasses are stuck down by double-sided sticky tape. Um, once you've done one run and you've got a load of water already pooled, it gets under the base of the glasses, so adhesion suffers. You might get two, chances are just one before you send a glass flying into a wall. So we're only gonna do one shot in a moment. Now, I do also have weights on the C-stand, weights bracing the workhorses. And for the lighting setup, um, around here, we have a sheet of diffuse and roll, um, just to diffuse that light a little further. Behind that is a 170 centimeter easy open octa from Pixapro um, with the front diffuser removed and so it's just got the inner baffle. And the light inside it, um, which is rather comical when you look at the size comparison, it's the Tiny City 300 Pro, a 300 watt second battery powered portable light. And what that light brings with it is very, very short flash durations, T1 flash durations. And basically we need to think of the flash duration as your action stopping shutter speed. You obviously want a faster shutter speed to stop any action when you're shooting in available or say natural light, uh, motor racing, sports, wildlife, and such. You don't wanna be shooting that at 60th of a second all the time. You can, I get it, you can pan, but um, generally you want something faster to freeze the motion. And that's what that short flash duration does. Not all flashes are equal. Um, a huge, huge part of the Pixar Pro range do bring with them um, very short flash durations. So the City 600, 600 Pro, 400 Pro, and of course the Peakers as well. So um, let's have a go, shall we? We'll darken the studio and see what we get. Um, other than a very wet floor and possibly wet me. Yay, let's have a go. Okay guys, we're in the dark. I know you can't see much. Um, sorry about that, not much that we can do. Um, but here we go. We'll give this a crack. So I'm going to set the camera going. Four second exposure and that definitely got me. <laughs> and let's see what we got. Right, I am absolutely soaking wet through. Red, green and blue water. Winner. Do you know what? I think that might have even worked better than the first one. Go figure. Um, here's the aftermath and the mess. Um, hence having a sheet down. Um, it's worth making sure you've got things like any electronics, extension leads out of the way. This is the great thing about having a battery powered light. It's on a stand behind the Nocta, well out of the way of any water. Um, I've put the sound trigger behind there as well. Just make sure there's nothing nearby that water could interfere with that's electrical that could risk causing damage or any other problems as well. So hopefully that was informative. If you've got any questions, please hit me up um, via Instagram, email, what have you. 
please enjoy the rest of the show. Uh, we've got some great content coming from um, friends of mine at Pixapro as well and the Pixapro team and of course many other great talks and other great content from other people who are speaking or demoing at the show as well. Enjoy the rest of it. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon.